Uh, ladies and gentlemen and dear colleagues, my name is Gun Berry from Jeonnam National University Hospital in South Korea and currently the president of the Korean Food and Ankle Society. I want to share some additional insight on our article recently published in the JBJS titled Periprostatic Osteoriasis as a Risk Factor for Revision after Total Ankle Arthroplasty. Why did we do this research? Modern total ankle arthroplasty has shown better functional outcomes and satisfied long-term outcomes. Despite the improvement in outcomes over time, periprostatic osteoriasis after total ankle arthroplasty is considered an important risk factor for poor outcomes and the main cause that reduces the survival rate. Osteoriasis is a challenging problem because the development and the progression of osteoriasis are unpredictable. Therefore, we have been interested in osteoriasis research for a long time. The goal of the current study was to evaluate the prevalence, predisposed factors, and the impact on the clinical outcome of osteoriasis. What findings were surprised in this study? We found that the prevalence of osteoriasis was considerable, 31.6% over 250 consecutive cases. Of these ankles in the osteoriasis group, 15.6% required revision surgery, 10 cases failed, and about 75% of the region developed within three years following total ankle osteoplasty. So it is necessary to closely monitor osteoriasis in the early post-operative period. What should we change in clinical practice based on our results? Osteoriasis can be missed or underestimated due to the masking effect of the implant. So, Sequential X-ray follow-up should be conducted every six months until three years post-operative. If there is any suspicion of osteoriasis, a CT is the recommend. Finally, what remained the most important question unanswered by this study and how do we hope to address it? Even though osteoriasis is an important factor in the long-term survival of TAA, there is no clearly established classification and guideline for the treatment of osteoriasis. In this regard, we are also conducting another study on these issues. And I think that the further study with larger cases and other processes are necessary. Thank you very much for taking the time with me.